Cody Fajardo comes into this game third in the league in passing yards. How are you going to contain them through the air here on Saturday? Well, we know that, you know, he's uh, he's been with Jason for quite a while and, you know, we understand, you know, what they like to do and they're going to take their shots. That's that's always been a, an MO of Jason, even way back when he was coordinating in Ottawa. So, you know, we, we understand what they do, but we're really more focused on on our execution and what we need to do. Um, obviously, he, he presents a dual threat to us. Um, and so we're aware of all that. And so I'm excited to play the game. And yesterday, um Brandon Revenberg and James Butler named to the July honor roll for the CFL. Does that speak to just the kind of seasons and month they have? Yeah, I think uh, you know it's always you know it's always funny the individual accolades in the in the ultimate team game, but I do think it's it's nice when people get recognized uh, from your organization. Everybody works equally hard, and I know they'd share that you know those accolades with with their teammates. So um, I, I appreciate them getting recognized, but I'm, I'm more focused on. On, on our game this week. And then I'm talking to Carthel Flowers Lloyd later and he's leading the league in special teams tackles. Just what kind of season has he been having and why has he been so successful on that special team? Well, I think more than just the tangible tackles is just his work ethic, <laughs> uh, his want to. Uh, his willingness to learn. Uh, he's left, uh, you know, a few tackles out there still. Uh, it's, it's, he ha he's just scratching the surface. He, he's, he's really raw, but he wants to work at it. He's, you know, a quick study. He's tough. He's fast. Uh, but it's a long season, and he's going to find that out, that uh, uh, there's a lot of football to be played. So we're looking forward to him maintaining uh, not just his productiveness, but just his work ethic uh, throughout the whole season. Coach, uh, Cody does present the, the two-headed the dual threat. Do you see them sort of getting William stand back more involved in the run game as the season goes on? Yeah, you know, I don't, I, I don't know. You know, I, I try not to look into the scope of other teams. As you know, Dan, I just uh, focus on ourselves and, and our consistent improvement. Um, we know that they have that opportunity every single week. And if you want to ignore their run game and that sort of thing, it's going to bite you. And so, you know, a back like that, you know, we had him a, a decent game against him up until one run. I think he had a 40-yard plus run against us, and that's how quick it can happen. So uh, I'm not sure what their plan are. Be a better question for for Jason and their staff. But we do know that uh, you know we definitely respect uh, what what can happen at any time. Taylor will make a, a second start. What sort of maturation? I mean, it's a very small work um, body of work. What maturation have you seen from him from being the starter? having the, the game under his belt and now preparing for a second start? Just the obvious, more experience, um, just um, questions, maybe a different level of questions. But as far as the demeanor and the throws, uh, he's been very efficient in practice, you know, made limited mistakes uh, as, as is ex expected. So we'll see. I think the biggest, the, the test is always when the lights are on. And so I'll better be able to answer that maybe three, four weeks from now. But not much has changed, uh, except for he does have that game under his belt, and it won't be his first. Does he have the ability to be a dual threat with his legs as well? Yeah, I think I think he's a a guy that can move the sticks with his feet. Um, I'm not going to sit there and say that's his forte, but he's not afraid to to tuck the ball and take off if need be. And you know, he's a tough guy. He's gritty. He's competitive at the core. Just authentically, he is that. So uh, we'll see. I think it'll unveil itself over time.